Yeah. Well, best of luck. Let us know how you got on with the next one. OK. Well Thank done. you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, it's renowned, isn't it, for showcasing the work of artists and sculptors from all over the world. But the latest exhibition is accessing art in a different way, via email. Yes, Breaking Boundaries Art by Email exhibits the work of artists from the Middle East and North Africa who are unable to travel to the UK due to political unrest and immigration conditions. It's thought to be the first display of its kind, and I've been to take a look. This is beautiful. These colours are just incredible, aren't they? Tell me about this piece. I really love the fact that this little girl could be any girl in any country. Her reaction to the cowlick in her face is just such a natural response. And what we were really keen with this show was that we would see inside lives that were not just on the news and in war zones, but the real positivity and creativity and hopefulness. Responding to an open call, artists from across the Middle East and North Africa submitted work via email. They can't travel to the UK due to political unrest and immigration conditions, but their work can. This means we can now work with our partners in Congo, in Angola, in Kiev, all over the world in a way that we haven't been able to by bringing the artists physically here. This piece is really clever. It's by an Iranian artist called Sahan Hissamian. He submitted the instructions for the sculpture to be printed via email, and here I can see it being created from the other side of the world. 21st century art. In the Iraqi Kurdistan city of Sulaymaniyah, people wrote down their thoughts on their environment and their culture. Visitors here are asked to do the same, and their notes are displayed. It's an idea by artist Azar Othman. How does it feel to have your work displayed in the UK, even though you physically can't be here? It's a great feeling because if your artwork is in a different country, you see it in a, as a in a like a space like a Yorkshire Sculpture Park, you. You heard about there's an artwork from Henry Moore, there's an artwork from Anish Kapoor in the Yorkshire Slavs. It will be great feeling. And that feeling is shared 3,000 miles away in Yorkshire. It's fantastic because it's showing art where we can't access it. Oh, they, we, they can't come in, we can't go there. These pieces here are particularly nice because I think you've got the contrast of the conflict and European Western culture. So I think those two pieces are quite... Symbolic. It's hoped this will be the first of many exhibitions where ideas and art can travel, even if people can't.